What's up guys, it's your girl Monty Bolanos here. Who exactly is Jordan Woods? To some of you, she might be a model that happens to be friends with lots of celebrities. But to lots of other people, she is Kylie Jenner's ex-best friend that was exiled from the reality TV family for the Chloe and Tristan scandal. Jordan definitely made headlines after that whole ordeal that took place February of 2019, but it wasn't the ideal spotlight for anyone. She was portrayed in the darkest of lights and called a straight up homewrecker. But there's so much more to Jordan, like her all-inclusive activewear label that supports body positivity. So grab a drink, sit back, and relax as we dive into the woman that is Jordan Woods. Jordan Woods is a Los Angeles native that was born on September 23, 1997. And while many people associate Jordan's fame with her friendship to Kylie Jenner, she actually grew up surrounded by the entertainment world. Her mom, Elizabeth Woods, who manages Jordan, making her another momager, has worked as a talent and brand manager in Los Angeles and currently has her own management company called Woods Management Group. She's also somewhat of a socialite who's helped build Jordan's career. It's thanks to her mom that Jordan signed with Ford Models at the age of six that actually didn't last too long because Jordan said in an interview with Paper that it wasn't her choice at the time. So she stopped and it wasn't until she was 18 that she decided to come back to the world of modeling. Jordan and her mom are very close. Some people have said that her mom is like a professional best friend. But Jordan's mom wasn't the only one working in the wonderful world of entertainment. Her late father, John Woods, worked as a sound engineer on Will Smith's hit TV show that still cracks me up till this day, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Jordan has always been very vocal about her close relationship with the Smiths and has even referred to Will as her uncle. When Jordan turned 21, Will gave her some love on his Instagram with a sweet throwback of the two of them to wish her a happy birthday. This might explain to some of you why Jordan went on Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith. but. More on that later. Back to her relationship with the Smiths, which we now all know has been around since the beginning. So it should be no surprise to anyone that she grew up and is friends with Jaden Smith. Jaden and Jordan have been together since day one. Back in 2015, Jaden said that Jordan was one of the first people he ever met and that they've been friends since then and they will always be friends. It's actually thanks to Jaden that Jordan met Kylie Jenner. It was the summer of 2012 when Kylie and Jordan actually met. One day before they all started high school, Jaden and Kylie decided to invite Jordan to hang out. I guess we could have said that the rest was history when it came to Jordan and Kylie's friendship. Too bad that's not the story, since we all know that famous friendship ended February of 2019. But for more than half a decade, Jordan and Kylie were more than friends. They became sisters from a different mister that seemed to do everything together. Jordan and Kylie really seemed to have a beautiful friendship. They did everything together, from traveling the world, to celebrating birthdays together, to attending fashion week together. Jordan was always so supportive of Kylie's makeup line, and they even had a collaboration together back in September of 2018. Kylie was also very supportive of Jordan's first major collaboration with the online retailer Boohoo and the first launch of her activewear, second nature. They even got married during the season finale of Life of Kylie back in 2017. So it's no surprise that these two friendly soulmates eventually became roommates. But that all came to a quick and abrupt end when the Jordan and Tristan scandal broke. Jordan and Kylie's friendship was about to change forever, something that I don't think anyone imagined. This was about to turn Jordan's life completely upside down and her battle with the Kar Jenners, specifically Khloe Kardashian, was about to start. This is the perfect time to get a refill and a snack because it's about to get messy. Jordan's life completely changed February of 2019 when it was reported that she had hooked up with Chloe's baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. The story had evolved and the rumors got worse and worse. At one point, she was accused of having a months long affair with Tristan. Some said that she cheated on her then boyfriend, Devin Booker. Yes, that is Kendall's current friend with benefits. Weird and messy, I know. But in March of 2019, Jordan went to Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith. Remember how we said that she had a loving relationship with the Smiths since she was a child? Well, Jordan felt that she could trust Jada in telling her side of the story. Jordan said that after a night of party, she and a group of people decided to keep the fun going by going to Tristan Thompson's house in Los Angeles. She was adamant that the night was completely innocent. She didn't give Tristan a lap dance, although her description of the seating arrangement did seem a bit weird. She also said that they never stepped away from the crowd to be alone. She stayed till the sun came up, which was very normal for Jordan to do, especially at a party where she felt safe. And when her car arrived, Tristan walked her out, 
and kissed her. Jordan admitted to being drunk, not tipsy when she left, and she took responsibility for being somewhere she shouldn't have been because of her friendship and the drama that already existed between Chloe and Tristan. Jordan also said that she spoke to Chloe and Kylie the morning when she left, but didn't tell them the whole truth because she was trying to protect Chloe because of everything that was going on between her and Tristan. Some people say that Chloe and Tristan were already broken up when this party happened, while others say it's the reason they broke up. As Jordan got emotional, she also said that she made a mistake by not coming clean from the beginning and that Tristan didn't personally invite her to his house. Despite everything Jordan said and did to make amends, I mean, she even took a lie detector test to prove her innocence, the damage was already done. How did you feel about Jordan after the scandal and after the Red Table Talk appearance? Being cheated on totally sucks, and it sucks even more when it's someone that you refer to as family, which is what Chloe said after Jordan broke her silence. So fixing things wasn't gonna be easy for Jordan, and it wasn't. She was completely cut from the Car Jenner world, and to make matters worse for Jordan, they were going to socially crucify her. The Car Jenners had a big advantage by having their own reality TV show. They were able to control their narrative on the story, and it was the biggest plot of Keeping Up With The Kardashian season 16. So everyone had to relive the whole thing all over again. According to Us Weekly, Jordan was mortified by the trailer for Keeping Up With The Kardashians, so instead of staying in Los Angeles and dealing with the drama while everyone talked about it, she decided to distract herself and focus on the future by heading to London and working on some business deals. And I would have totally done the same thing. After Jordan spoke out about the scandal on Red Table Talk, we didn't really hear much else from her. But it was clear that Jordan was trying to work on herself and get past the drama, something that I can't imagine was easy. But she's managed to do it and Jordan has come back bigger and better than ever. Jordan Woods wants you to know who she is. She is a model and a businesswoman that is putting the drama and gossip behind her to be a better and super successful person. She has officially launched the second round of her all body inclusive activewear, Second Nature. She has a new home to decorate and decompress at. She's taking her career to another level by making an appearance on the TV show Grownish. And that's not it. She also has two movies under her belt now, BET's Sacrifices and Trigger. She also launched another collab with the online retailer Boohoo that looks amazing. Jordan is staying true to herself and isn't afraid to show it. She was on the cover of Complex to tell us that she started an OnlyFans account. Jordan even made an appearance on Megan Thee Stallion's music video Body that had everyone wanting more. And let's not forget to mention that Jordan has a new boo in her life that clearly makes her so happy. Her newfound love is NBA star Carl Anthony Towns. Their relationship began as friends who bonded over the loss of a parent. They really seem to like each other and it looks like they have a lot of fun, especially Especially when they're matching. They've clearly bonded and the love between them is evident. Jordan really is a different woman. I can't imagine what Jordan went through in such a short amount of time. And even though she admitted to her mistakes, it couldn't have been easy to move on when so many people kept talking about you. It takes guts and a strong-minded person to come out from the scandal and gossip better than before. Does she miss her friendship with Kylie? I can only assume. Does she regret what happened? Probably, but all of that has made her stronger, so I don't think she would change that for the world. You go, Jordan. Keep doing you. We all love to see it. I hope you learned a little something about Jordan Woods. Go ahead and leave your thoughts below, and for more content like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.